friends welcome to technical learning point and this is our second video after IM installation so let's see so in first video we have talked about how we do installation of the IIM so in first video we have done through the GY so and in second video I am going to install IBM WebSphere application server using GUI mode only so once all GUI topic will be complete so then we uh, go with the silent mode and command line mode right so step by step we will do it so let me first check our package because uh, was ND 8.5 okay so when we get the package so we get the package in disk 1 disk 2 disk 3 okay and some supporting files response file and the repository.config file that is the very important repository.config right so let me open the repository.config but what the it contain display so see repository.ur at disk 1 right so first it will call to disk 1 okay and disk 1 call to disk 2 and disk 3 internally at the time of doing installation so let me invoke uh, IIM installation manager first so let me open to terminal so we have uh, installed our IIM in OPT IBM installation manager Eclipse ok so this is our uh, utility IBM IIM and just type enter so it will invoke so now it is loading so first step is to configure repository right so go to preference and uh, go to add this add repository button click here and click browse and now uh, we have to go location where our software is available so that is i think uh, desktop right package was and so this file actually repository.config file we need to configure right click ok ok now we can test connection right so now all selected repository are connected right so now click to ok once we click in ok so when we click in install so it will load that package let's see so it loaded IBM WebSphere application server network deployment 8.5.0.0 okay now select it now click next now accept the terms in the license agreement click next ok share the source directory ok click next so this is the package name IBM WebSphere application server 8.5 installation directory OPT IBM WebSphere app server if you want to change so we, uh, you can just give here your path or you can browse right so whatever path you want to give give ok so path has been the change ok Okay, IBM WebSphere app server. Generally, this is the default path. Okay, so this way. Now click next. So by default language is English. Click next. So these all feature will be get installed right so based on our requirement we can select or deselect okay now click next
now see total installation size so it will use this much of the directory size 2.18 gb So now it is installing so it will take some time to complete installation so meantime you can pause this video not pause uh, you can escape video because uh, it will take some time to get installed but uh, I don't have uh, that standard software so I cannot escape it so I'm recording it but you can escape uh, is this video to 2 to 3 minutes or 5 minutes So this time I am going to uh, create the entire WebSphere series like each and every topic I am going to cover step by step till the troubleshooting along with IHS installation I am going to talk about certificate, fix pack, refresh pack, I pack, everything I am going to talk about in this series. So daily I'm going to upload a one video. So this uh, basically uh, session in 8.5. Once this 8.5 session will get complete, so I will start for WebSphere 9.0 and WebSphere Liberty. So I hope you will enjoy and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel basically this GUI installation I am showing just purpose to learn how the NGUI way we can do the installation but in real time we never ever do the installation from GUI in organization we always do the installation either silent mode or command line mode and in 99% it's silent mode only so that will I, I will also show so now you can see installation has been completed so now it is asking for to create a profile profile management tool to create application server profile or none so now i am not going to create any profile so i am just click to none and finish okay now uh, let me come out exit Okay. Or, uh, so we can go to our path where our installation is OPT IBM see WebSphere App Server see just now we have done the installation timestamp can match 9 April 728 9 April 727 okay so just now we have done the brand new installation so now go to let me clear screen okay so now let me go to inside bin directory so here we have command call version info.sh so see 
the port and date time this time we have done the installation product directory this is the vast one location this is the version directory this is dtd this is the log where we can check our installation log directory where ibm installation manager logs okay ind network deployment package installed this is the name of the package this is the version 8.5.0.0 its id it is the build level build date this package has been built 5 and 12 okay 2012 this is the package name it's a art uh, 8664 bit 64 bit architecture what feature it installed java full profile ejb deploy embedded ejb container stand alone thing line so this is the complete report of the installation so i hope you will enjoy this video and thank you so much and please subscribe this channel so you will get another video of this series thank you so much